What's up guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, I'll show you how to set up Google Family Link. So if you're wondering how to exactly set up Google Family Link here, well, this one is going to be fairly easy. So the first thing that you want to do here is you want to go ahead and access the two accounts that you want to supervise with and the account that you want to uh, supervise. Now, by the way, you could do this at a process with another phone. You just need to get the uh, Family Link app on Google Play Store here. But for demonstration purposes and for a better idea here, I'm going to use the web browser version of the account that we'll be using for supervision. So yeah, first thing you want to do is you want to set up the actual phone that you want to supervise. So let's go open up the phone, click on settings here. And under settings, what we need to do is you want to scroll down a bit. You want to look for Google, open it up. Now from here, you want to choose your Google account here. Just go to all services, scroll down a bit until you see the option here that says parental controls. Now under parental controls, what we need to do is we just need to follow a few things. Let's go and click on let's do this. And from here, we want to go ahead and choose the account that we want to supervise. Just make sure that you chose the correct email address here. So if you haven't entered the email address, go ahead and basically select that. Let's go ahead and select this email address. Click on supervise account. And in this case, it's going to say only one account can be signed in. So it's going to sign out all the accounts you already have here. Let's go ahead and click on sign out and continue. And from here, it's going to say next steps are for Ren's parents. Let's go ahead and click on next. Now from here, let's go ahead and enter the email address that you want to supervise the account that we just entered before. So let's go ahead and enter the email address here. So for example, let's go ahead and select this one, but I uh, can actually use a different one. So this one, uh, maybe I want to use this email. Let's go add this one. And once you've entered the account that you'll be, you'll, you'll be using to supervise this specific device, let's go ahead and click on next. Now from here on the next page, it might ask you to verify your identity or your account. So go ahead and just provide your password and verify yourself. Now, once you've entered your password, as well as the um, verification here, once you've read that, you just need to read through all the information that you'll be seeing here. But at the very bottom here, you now have the option to enter the password or in this case to basically finish the setup. So to confirm that you are the uh, account that will be supervising this device here you just need to enter your or re-enter your password here just to verify that and just click on next now it's going to give you some information here just click on next and from here it should redirect you to another let's go and click on allow to allow supervision and from here you just need to review a few things go ahead and basically expand each of them if you want to review but let's go and click on next here and in this case it's now all set up so it's going to basically allow uh, you to uh, start managing this specific account here. But once you visit parental controls, you should now be able to see different details about this one. Like for example, the limit, downtime, blocked apps. And when you visit or reload your, uh, in this case, the parent account here, as you can see, the account itself should now be visible in here. So when you click on the controls option, you now have the option to basically uh, like app limits to this one like for example if you want to limit a specific app in here and also if you want to restrict specific contents your account settings and device here like for example battery life and more now if you want to add another child here you can go and click on add child and just follow the steps that you'll be seeing here which what we just did before but yeah so in this case that's about it so uh if you found this video helpful don't forget to leave a like or maybe subscribe to our channel Thank you for watching.